everybody, my name is Matt and welcome to The Bible in Three, where we help teenagers better understand the Bible in three minutes. And today our question that we're going to be talking about is, why is the Bible a big book of rules? It's a legit question to ask, so let's explore a little bit together, alright? Sound good? Awesome. Now, when it comes to the Bible, there are several rules that we see in the Bible, specifically in the first five books of the Old Testament. The most popular that you guys probably know about are the Ten Commandments. I mean, they made a movie titled after in the 50s that our grandparents have seen, all right? Now, also in the Old Testament, there are some rules that seem really bizarre to us, like in Leviticus chapter 19, verse 19, do not wear clothing woven with two kinds of materials. Oh man, does that mean I can't wear my Vans anymore? All right. Or in Leviticus chapter 3, verse 17, this is a lasting ordinance for the generations to come. Wherever you live, you must not eat any fat or any blood. Mmm, custard bars. I'm pretty sure these are fat free. Oh no! Now, although there are quite a bit of rules in the Old Testament, that does not mean that the Bible is one big rule book. In fact, those rules in the Old Testament were given to the Old Testament Israel to help them show the world that they were God's chosen people. Now, as you read the Bible, you're gonna find out that in the Old Testament, Israel couldn't really follow these rules. They rebelled against God, they tried to fix their own problems, and what ended up happening is they made a bunch of messes while doing this. So instead of viewing the Bible as a big rule book, try viewing it this way. The Bible is a book that brings things to light, all right? Because of the Old Testament rules and Israel's response to them, what we see is a glimpse of what humanity really looks like, us as humans, that we don't have life figured out, and that we cause a lot of our own messes. And so what God does is, through the Bible, He brings who we are to light, but He also brings who He is and what He's done for us to light. So God doesn't leave us in our messes. What He does, which we see in the New Testament, is He sends His Son, Jesus, down to us to bring us out of our messes and to guide us to live the lives we're supposed to live in Him. Now, along with those long list of Old Testament rules that are really confusing and concerning, Jesus actually talks about them and says this in the book of Matthew. He says, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. So instead of just undoing God's standard, all right, that he set in the Old Testament, Jesus becomes the standard for all of us, all right? And what he does too is he makes ourselves distinct through his church. He makes and to make ourselves distinct as his church, he gives two commandments. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself in Matthew chapter 22. Sound familiar? Love God and love people, all right? Now, when you guys view the Bible and if you view it as a rule book, you are actually missing the entire point of the Bible. It's actually a book that brings things to light, not to restrict us or take away our freedom or tell us a bunch of do's and don'ts, all right? Well, guys, that's all the time we have for this episode, and I'm sure you have a lot of questions and your own opinion, too, as well. We'd really love to continue this conversation with you guys. So check out our in-person student growth groups at Hewlett Street Church this Sunday at 9.30 a.m., all right? Can't wait to see you guys.